Hey, everybody. Thanks for inviting me to your beautiful home. And welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, Gold. the premium channel that is free. Uh, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium. It's just basic science. I don't know if you've noticed, but my camera quality is immaculate. <laughs> it's uh, it's crispy clean. You might even think there's a green screen behind me, but no. <laughs> No, we're just, we just have premium quality for my premium viewers. I got a new camera, uh, pretty excited about it. I was waiting for months for it to ship to me and I now finally have it in my possession and I can't wait to make videos with it. Like, like what I'm doing right now. Before we get into today's topic, which is unfortunately a second entry in the ongoing trend of brother, sister, TikTok couples. I wanted to quickly announce a few things. First, we got a little gift from Papa YouTube, Mama Content. We got our plaque. We got our uh, 100,000 subscriber plaque. So let's take a look at that. Now that's gold. Boom. That's pretty rad. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel. It's very validating and cool that I have two of these now and also have this platform to just like share whatever I want to share. Um, I, I want to definitely experiment with the space in the future. So hold on tight because it's, it's about to get experimental. Speaking of experimental, what up gang? I'm editing Jarvis as is, uh, obvious from my headdress. I want to add an announcement to this announcement section. I filmed this video like a month ago and uh, a few things have transpired since then. For example, I'm planning to do a live stream on the gold channel for my premium viewers where I'm going to be opening up some old Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you know, because that's my new obsession. On the Yu-Gi-Oh front, uh, going to be opening up some maximum gold because it's Jarvis Johnson Gold. I mean, how could I not? I'm gonna be live streaming myself opening up these bad boys on Saturday, November 28th at 11 a.m. PT, Pacific time. So come check it out. But I know I can trust you guys with that because you're premium, come on. Second announcement, did you know I had a P.O. box? Well, I have a P.O. box. And I've actually had it for a while. You'll notice in the description at the bottom, I, I link to my P.O. box and I haven't gotten much mail to it and that's, to be expected because it's at the bottom of the description and I never talk about it. But I did receive a nice little card for Halloween from Ezekiel and it was so nice. I wanna maybe, if I get some more stuff sent to the PO box, maybe I'll make a video opening all of it. Um, I also, if you follow my Instagram, you'll notice I've been making a few, um, I've been talking a lot about Yu-Gi-Oh cards because I am regressing to my 11 year old self and I've been buying a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards lately so uh, if you want to send me some Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon or what anything you, you want, actually. I used to play Magic the Gathering as well. Uh, send me surprises. Don't put yourself out. But if you want me to open up something on stream and talk about it, I'll take good care of it. Um, do that. That's nice. But this is just a nice little letter. Um, sending this pretty early so it'll come in on time. Happy Halloween, Jarvis. I love your content and the fact that you're unafraid to talk about serious stuff, i.e. Ellen's dumbass. Means a lot. Love Ezekiel. Thanks Ezekiel. And uh, the Ellen video is on this channel. So Ezekiel is clearly a premium viewer and uh, you too can have your fan mail read on the channel. Just send me something. My PO box is open and I'll put it on the screen. I'll put, I'll put, you don't have to scroll down to the description. I'll put it on the screen for you guys because you're premium. Don't lift a finger. It is funny that that card was about talking about serious topics because today we are not talking about a serious topic at all. We're talking about sibling TikTok couples again. I just made a video on the main channel about the Alpha Familia and their antics. I got a message on Instagram from Gumby2. So uh, you can, thank you. Um, but also how dare you <laughs> make me watch this content. They sent me another sibling TikTok couple and I don't understand why there are multiple of these, but due to the curse that was put on me years ago, I do have to react to this content on camera. So uh, let's get into that. I can't get over how nice this camera looks. Does it look nice to you? If so, go ahead and leave me some compliments. <laughs> leave your boy some validation in the comments down below. So this couple slash brother sister dynamic duo <laughs> is made up of Wego fellas. Don't know if I'm saying that right. And uh, Alexis Feather or Alex is Feather, but I assume it's Alexis Feather. Both of those 
names are a bit of a mouthful, so I'll just be referring to them as Sibling Couple 2. Sibling Couple 2 seems to be making prank videos where they're pranking their boyfriend slash brother and and their mom is in it a lot. The acting is horrible. They're clearly they're clearly staging all of these things. Um, but wh why? I mean, we know we know why, but it's just it's just strange, and it's not for me. But that just makes it more fun to watch. And by fun, I don't mean fun. This is gonna take a while to get over. My belly hurts so bad. Hey, what's going on? My belly hurts. Hey, baby, baby, oh my baby, god, baby. baby. Oh my god, Jesus Christ! You're so nasty. We got a good old-fashioned Nutella is poop prank with some horrible acting. She just like <laughs> crawls into frame in writhing pain. <laughs> it's like I, you could have called from wherever you were before, but you did just have to get into frame before you started holding your stomach. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. If your partner was sick and writhing in pain, stomach pain, and then they farted, I don't think I would turn on them and think it was a prank. I think it would, I think it would still be a part. Of, I would still be concerned about the pain that they're in. Like if they poop themselves, that's a sign of a sign of uh, some sort of ailment. They're not having a good time. I don't think I would quickly just be like, "Oh, come on! I really don't want to. I don't care about your pain anymore. That's stinky." <laughs> Also, they both are just yelling. Are they just yelling all the time? This is like, I don't know why, and this is almost definitely for kids. <laughs> like, it seems like that's the only people who could possibly be consuming this unironically. I don't understand why everything that's for kids has to yell. I'm sure there's some sort of psychology reason to it, but if they're yelling, it's probably for kids. That's my rule of thumb. Thanks for coming to Jarvis School. <laughs> she smeared Nutella on her shorts. Um, and then it's, it's, he didn't even know about the Nutella, it seemed until that, that point or what, what he thought was the poop. So she didn't really need to put it on her butt. Um, but then she smears it on his face and he emits a, a high pitched squeal. <laughs> um, I don't know what note that was. It was impressive. <laughs> Watch out, Mariah Carey. Have you ever smelled poop before? It's a pretty distinctive smell. And you know what also has a distinctive smell? Nutella. I think if someone put Nutella on my face, I would instantly know what it was. I'd be like, oh, why did you put hazelnut spread on my face? So there are a lot of poop and fart pranks, which we all know is the highest form of humor. So I'm just excited to see such art make it to, to, to TikTok, finally. I pranked my sister again at Alexis Feather and girlfriend. Dramatically, I have a few questions um, that will not be answered, so I don't even not even worth posing them. We are wearing the same shirt also, so that's a bit of a concern of mine. They always seem to put sister and girlfriend or brother and boyfriend in the weirdest places in the weirdest ways. Uh, almost to say we're not actually brother and sister or we're not actually boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, we are just uh, adding this word for the algorithm. <laughs> All right, so we've already I think we've noticed a trend. I think the formula for these is pretty apparent so far. You get Nutella, and then you make a mess, and you make a loud noise, and then your partner comes in, and then you put the Nutella on their face. And then, <laughs> the pièce de résistance is you squeal. Too loud. And that's <laughs> that's the recipe for a boyfriend slash brother prank. you think after the first time they did a prank like this, they would be dubious of any time the other person had a bowel movement <laughs> and uh, started screaming about it? I don't know, maybe Nutella is at play somehow in this situation. Or do you have such little faith in your partner's ability to go to the bathroom by themselves <laughs> that you just barge in to check on him when you hear a loud farting noise? And a balloon pop? I am I missing something? That sound is foreign to me when it comes to digestion. 
This has 220,000 likes. Alpha Familia needs to get on get on the squealing game. They need to get on the prank game is what they need to do. I feel like if they didn't speak, these people would just feel like a Troom Troom video. You know what I mean? They, they've got all the elements. They're like vaguely European. Um, <laughs> they use, they utilize bright colors. Uh, and their pranks are top notch, so I feel like they would fit right in. Maybe this is an audition tape. Again, my my first question would be, uh, Alexis, honey, um, we need we need to talk about why we both have so much trouble in the bathroom. Uh, maybe put extra toilet paper inside of the bathroom, maybe under a cabinet or something so that you don't need to yell when you need more toilet paper because running out is something that happens to you guys a lot. Couple questions. One, what's their Nutella budget? Seems like they've got a <laughs> they've got a brand spanking new bottle every single prank video. Uh, is the TikTok money that good <laughs> that you can just blow it all on Nutella? Um, asking for a friend. Now I'm starting to think he has some sort of allergic reaction to Nutella that whenever it's put on his body, he squeals. <laughs> uh, because that would make that would make this make more sense. It's not a real prank. It's a script. <laughs> Somebody's onto him. You're not getting anything past uh, the dot. Oh my God, it's real event. <laughs> Frankness with a lot of laughter. I, uh, who is, I, mm, am I missing something? Brother or boyfriend, I'm not sure here. Me either, because, and that seems like it's part of the plan, because the caption of this is new pranks on my page every day with my boyfriend, brother, but it's spelled with a zero, so maybe it's like, maybe that's how they're, maybe that's the loophole. They're like, no, he's not my brother, he's my br zero there you know, my br zero there not my brother. What are you, an idiot? Babe, she got the fat ass. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I said I have one of those gas. Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> are they even in a real car? I'm confused. It looks like they're, <laughs> it looks like, it looks like the car that they're in has been sawed in half. <laughs> and they just have like a camera in front of it. What is happening? How do you get this angle? <laughs> Also, man, she has some great reflexes. I, she knew immediately that he was hitting on some other girl I, before I even understood what he said. <laughs> Whenever sibling couple two gets bored of pooping on each other, they they prank their mom. Where are they? Where, where are they? And why is she wearing an Oakland Raiders hoodie? <laughs> You're pranking your mom. She's minding her own business on the iPad or whatever, and then a burglar walks in and she makes no sound, <laughs> doesn't even get up from the couch. This is a very chill mom. Is he about to grab her head? <laughs> is he about to steal the mom, put her in the bag? That's what it looks like. Look, you can have the laptop, but my tablet, now you've gone too far. Oh my God, everyone in this family screams so high-pitched, high-pitchedly. Also, I don't understand why she has this sort of mask on. Does that, I feel like just another another ski mask would have done just fine. You didn't need to become a ghoul <laughs> of, of sorts. She was in front of a mirror. <laughs> She's screaming at the fucking mirror and then she fails to notice f fucking Pennywise <laughs> right behind her. Are they, I, now I'm like, are they making this sound digitally? Is this fake? Is this auto-tune? Like, how are they doing this? I'm not going to subject you to this scream and if I do, I'm gonna bring the volume way down, but they don't. No, they leave it very, very loud and I can't hear anymore. You'll be receiving a bill from my ear doctor. <laughs> Fucking 
we go fellas how about we go to the ear nose and throat specialist they have 20 million followers hang on wow 19 million followers on tiktok Is anyone actually wondering what happens? The answer is nothing. I guess this is like cartoon logic, right? And the kids are like, what happens? Because if this were a cartoon, something would happen. But unfortunately, it's the real world. Um, but on the bright side, he doesn't refer to her as his girlfriend in this one. So maybe they broke up. <laughs> that must be awkward, uh, you know, to go to the family dinner at which you are siblings. <laughs> and Ooh, you can never... You, that must be, that must be exhausting. They must have like gone to Costco and been like a Nutella balloon speaker pack. This is oddly specific and it's all we need for our TikTok channel. <laughs> I guess this mom's character is that she only reacts to things by going wide-eyed and otherwise not reacting physically at all until she squeals. Is mom gonna squeal? Let's watch to find out. I oh, know, just regular screaming, so that's... <laughs> Plot twist. Everything about this is gross and I know it's fake. Uh, let's see, peeing on the floor, <laughs> making a fart noise. Let's fake her on death. Pranking our mom again with my sister. Girlfriend. Is her name girlfriend? <laughs> Maybe that's their loophole. I'm gonna assume the mom has face blindness and can't recognize uh, that the head of her daughter is is not a mannequin head. <laughs> yeah. And also, I don't know. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen a decapitated body, but uh, I assume it's not like stitched with cloth at the top of it. That might give give the game away as to whether or not this is real. But hey, this mom is very easy to prank. <whistles> ah, God, look. We all know this is fake, but in case it's giving any of you all at home ideas as to how to prank your mom, don't prank your mom. She took care of you for all those years. Don't don't betray her trust. She loves you. Just give her a hug. That'll be more fun. Surprise your mom with a hug. That's why I'm running for president of the United States. <laughs> this one has it all. It's a fucking... What is this, a crossover episode? <laughs> Most of the comments, by the way, are, is she your sister or girlfriend? Someone please explain. Also, how many times your mom got pranked? Oh, boy. People who say it's planned. Clowns. <laughs> yeah, must mean it's real or we're a clown. You be the, you decide. So this one's a classic. You get like a dry pasta and they just like bite on it and makes a cracking noise. And then you get somebody to like crack your back. I've seen, I don't know, thousands of TikToks of that prank. And this seems to have uh, remixed a classic with a good old fashioned scary clown mask and a squealing mom. <laughs> uh, and a fart. <laughs> you always gotta have a fart. Man, I wasn't expecting that one. Cause I feel like you could have gone uh, you could have, uh, definitely unnecessary, but welcome, <laughs> a very welcome addition. <laughs> what? <laughs> she farted so hard, she decided to break her own neck. <laughs> and then her mom was like, this all makes sense. Ah! <laughs> I'm worried for their mom's voice. They, they're putting her through a lot. Um, and she just wants the weekend, please. Mom is f ready for the weekend, and this is how you treat her? Give your mom a hug. That's, that's the moral of this video. She didn't even look back at the mask. So the mask was not needed, <laughs> for the record. Uh, as we might have expected, nor was, <laughs> nor was the farting, uh, because you did 
sort of eclipse those events by breaking your own neck. <laughs> so I don't think, you know, it's a little bit of a hat on a hat situation. I want you to ask yourself, how old do you think the audience for these videos is? Uh, pretty young, right? Like I, I'm guessing pretty young. Um, well, you would be wrong, <laughs> just like I was. Because if that's the case, why would why would they also be posting really sexy videos that serve no other that serve no purpose for children? Fun fact, actually, very very sad fact. I have a pool right behind me, and I can swim. Yeah, that's that. I just wanted to show that to you because I uh, didn't want to be alone knowing that it existed. And now my premium viewers know it exists as well. My apologies, but also thank you. Let me know what else you guys want to see on this channel. I definitely want to experiment a little bit because I want to, I kind of want to open up some Yu-Gi-Oh packs, you know, get my, get my, my Charlie on, get my Moist Critical on, my Penguin Zero on, <laughs> are those all of his names? Uh, yeah, I kind of want to open some packs on this channel, which is very different from the other content I make. Um, so let me know if you would, uh, if you would, you, you would hate me forever if I did that. Uh, cause I sure would like you to come hang out and have a good old time with me. My PO box is up on the screen right now, I assume. <laughs> uh, and you can send me whatever. Cause I'll definitely make a, make a mailbag episode. So that's all I've got for today. Um, please don't let me know if there are other uh, sibling couples on TikTok because I don't think I want to know about it. Um, but thanks for, thanks for hanging out and I'll see you next time. Stay gold, everybody. Mm -hmm.